Hi everyone, this is me Monica Philip and uh, I hope that you all are doing fine. Kids, are you guys excited for today's story? As you all know that we are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, and this is a very beautiful season because we are celebrating his big birthday. Jesus was born on Christmas Day to give us life, to, to die for us and to give us a life and to restore the relationship that was broken and because of Jesus the relationship was being restored. So I have a very beautiful story to share with you and it's about Christmas celebrated correctly. Hmm. How we all celebrate our Christmas? We all celebrate Christmas differently and uh, we have some family traditions to share. We cook something, we shared food with our relatives or with our neighbors, right? We all have different Christmas traditions. Let's see, there's a boy and his name was Nicholas and we'll see how he celebrated his uh, Christmas with his family. So, Christmas Eve, finally it was Christmas Eve. People held candles with pieces of paper attached to the bottom of them. This was Christmas Eve. Candlelight service. Nicholas knows present were waited under the tree. He waited it with excitement. Merry Christmas and Amen, said the pastor. Soon Nicholas and his family were on their way to Uncle Paul and Aunt Jones. There was always good food, fun games and lots of laughter at their house. Nicholas liked being at their home. Each year they could eat special cookies and candies while everyone talked and laughed. Then one person handed out the gift to the others. This year Nicholas was that person. Let me help you read the names said Uncle Paul. Nicholas liked Uncle Paul. The gifts were opened one at a time. Nicholas was happy with his gift. Is everyone ready to sing Christmas song? Asked Aunt Jones. Yes, they all answered. Nicholas learned that singing Christmas song was one way of telling God and Jesus of our love. Aunt Jones explained, when we sing these songs to Jesus, we are remembering the real reason for Christmas. Singing these songs to Jesus tell him that we know he is important. That is good. That is called worship. Mm. The shepherds and later the wise men worship Jesus. When we sing and pray, we also worship Jesus. Nicholas loved Jesus, so he sang as well as he could. He didn't know all the songs, so he hummed in parts. What Nicholas knew was more important. He knew he loved Jesus. Do we know we love Jesus? Hmm. Yes. And now I am going to share one Bible story with you that tells us that yes, Jesus loved us and we loved him too. We have seen that uh, angel worship Lord and uh, shepherds when angel received the big news, the big uh, message, they started worship and they went to see Jesus. Now there's another special person who went to see Jesus. Who were they? They were wise men. Yes, wise men worshipped the child Jesus. Far away from Bethlehem lived some wise man who watched the stars one clear night the man could go out and look at stars in the sky one night is different very bright stars appear in the sky a new star the man may have said exactly it must be the star of the king whom god has promised to send for his people so the star would lead them to a far away land they decided to go visit the king. Yes, let's go, they said. And they also decided to take gifts. The wise men appeared or prepared for a long trip. They traveled for a long time. They asked one, 
they, they asked other travelers, who is the new king who has been born? But the people didn't know. Finally, the wise man reached the land where the star had led them. Hmm. They asked about the new king, but no one knows. When the king of the land heard their question, he had a few questions himself. The king asked his helpers where the new king was to be born. Bethlehem answered the people who study God's word. The king asked the wise man more questions and then told them to go to Bethlehem. The man claimed, climbed on the camels and followed the star to a home. There they found the young Christ Jesus. The man had travelled many months to find him. The man bowed before the young child. They knew this child is God's son. The wise man gave gifts to the child. Then they returned to their own land. Yes kids, this is the story of Jesus. And this story is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 till 12. So if you want to read this story by yourself, you could do that. Because this is the true story about Jesus. How Jesus came to this world and he came to give us life. And even angels worshipped him, wise men did, shepherds did. Now this is our duty to worship the Lord Jesus. Kids, hope to see you next time with another story. Till then, bye bye. Merry Christmas.